Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for dibromide. Alright, so here we go. Uh, dibromide is just going to be Br2, okay, and that's going to give us uh, two bromines each with seven valence electrons for a total of 14 valence electrons, okay. Now this is basically just the diatomic for uh, bro bromine, so Br2. Um, so we're going to have the two bromine atoms and we can start by single bonding them together and just filling in the octets for each of the atoms and if you count up the electrons you have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 which is our total so that means that this is actually going to be the final structure let's go ahead and verify that just by calculating the formal charge so on each of the bromines and they both have one single bond and six non-bonding electrons so their formal charges will be equal so the formal charge is going to be the seven valence brought in minus the one single bond minus the two four six non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero multiply that times two because there's two of them and that still results in overall formal charge of zero which is what we want because this is not a charged uh, particle or comp uh, compound okay in terms of shape because there's only two atoms that's going to make this a linear shape alright and in terms of hybridization looking at either of the two atoms they both have one two three four or one two three four so there's four different electron groups or potential bonding sites so that means we need four hybrid orbitals so we're going to go with sp3 hybrid so you have 1s, 3ps for a total of four hybrid orbitals and because these are both the same kind of atom they're both bromines their polarities will cancel each other out making this a non-polar compound okay so that is pretty much it for this one if you have any questions please let me know and thanks for watching